As per latest media reports, the fabrication of first Indian unmanned strike air vehicle will begin in late 2025, and rollout of the prototype will happen by mid-2026. Gas turbine research establishment plans to have a certified cavalry dry engine by 2025, that will power the stealth UCAF. The Indian unmanned strike air vehicle will have an internal weapons bay, and will be armed with missiles and precision guided munitions, and will be in charge of breaching enemy air defenses, and carrying out ground strikes on enemy targets, and also establishing air superiority in contested airspace. Chennai-based firm Garuda Aerospace has released a video of its upcoming Vajra Stealth drone, and has said that it will have a range of 160 km and can carry a 5 kg payload in its internal weapons bay. It will be powered by a HAL-developed engine, and will have a cruise speed of 30 m per second. It will be equipped with a high-quality HD camera with live video streaming, thermal camera for day and night feed and lidar camera to carry out digital 3D scans. It will feature an anti-radar navigation system that doesn't require ground communication, and uncrewed aerial system software solutions will be provided by Lockheed Martin Canada CDL Systems. Garuda Aerospace has claimed, that in future, the company will demonstrate its capability to travel around India in 16 hours with just three stops for refueling. The Director of Futuristic Technology Management at the Defence Ministry has said, that India will have high-end hypersonic glide vehicles capable of crossing a speed of Mach 8 by 2024 or 2025. India's hypersonic technology demonstrator program has entered Phase 2, and the DRDO is expected to test a hypersonic glide vehicle in final configuration in 2024, that is usually injected at 100 km altitude, after which it enters the atmosphere and glides towards the target. The Indian Army has a requirement of 250 all-terrain vehicles, that will be operated by Eastern Northern and Central Commands of the Army. Overt Defence has reported, that the Darwin 4x4 all-terrain vehicle of Indian firm Dakar War Trucks, has successfully completed DGST trials along the line of control, that has an indigenous content of 85%, with the capability of bolt-on armour, and it can be armoured up to Stanag Level 3. A prototype has been tested by the Northern Command of the Indian Army, under which the Darwin all-terrain vehicle traversed harsh terrain to reach border posts carrying an 800 kg payload. The Indian Coast Guard has signed a contract for 10 multicopter ship-based drones with Saga Defence, that are equipped with sensors and other equipment, that will allow them to gather and transmit data back to the ship or to other locations, and they can be operated remotely or programmed to follow a predetermined course. The Coast Guard has plans to induct 100 additional drones by 2025, that will provide a significant boost to maritime surveillance and interdiction capabilities. Thank <laughs> you.